Hey Aquarius, how you guys doing? This is Serendipity Tarot. I'm going to do your love reading for the first half of April, April 1st through April 15th. For the sign of Aquarius, this can resonate for you if Aquarius is in your sun, moon, or rising ascending. This will be for you and your partner, whoever you have on your mind at the time of this video. Okay. Keep in mind that the energy is interchangeable, so feel free to switch the roles if it makes more sense to you. And this can play out at any time, you know, today, tomorrow, next week, or it could have occurred in the recent past because time is fluid. Okay, so let's jump right into it. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot for the main spread, and I'm going to clarify with the Wheel of the Year, okay? So, Spirit Angels, Guardians, and Guides, please allow me to tune into the energy of Aquarius and their partner. First half of April, April 1st through April 15th. What's going on with Aquarius and their partner? One good, one more good shuffle, and then we're going to cut this deck. Aquarius and their partner, April 1st, April 15th. Okay. So the current mutual energy between you guys we have is the wheel, okay? So things are changing. What's the challenge to this? We have the Knight of Cups. What happened in the recent past between you and your partner, Aquarius? We have the world. Some kind of cycle coming to a close or beginning. What's on your mind, the Three of Cups? What's the reason for this reading? We have is the judgment. Some kind of decision being made. What's to take place in the near future? The star. Beautiful. Your energy, Aquarius, is the Five of Cups. And your partner's energy, the Ace of Swords. What do we have for the outcome? The lovers. Wow, beautiful. Let's get one more outcome card. Page of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, let's get to clarifying. So for the current mutual energy between you guys, we have is the wheel, okay? So there's something going on between you guys where, you know, things are changing, people's perspectives are changing, the way you look at this person, the way they look at you, okay? Everything is, um, there's a lot of change going on. The wheel is just like, you know, it turns one way, you get fortune, turns the opposite way get misfortune but I'm getting I'm getting the feeling that you guys have really been through um, some kind of karmic cycle you know I don't want to jump ahead but we also have the world here so there's some kind of cycle went through we went through with this person we got the three of wands in reverse so there was something where someone didn't see a way forward there was a um, someone couldn't progress there was a need or the desire to move uh, this connection forward in a um, forward direction and it just it was stuck I'm seeing that maybe someone wasn't really believing it they didn't have faith in it oops we got two cards to clarify I have the fool and we have the page of swords in reverse so yeah, someone may have wanted to take a risk on this. Maybe they, you know, wanted to move things forward. They want to take a leap of faith, okay? Um, there's also an energy of just someone watching the other person, wanting to figure out what's going on, where they, they stand right now in this connection. Maybe they want to know what's going on in your world, you know? They, they feel like... I'm getting this is more so the energy of your partner that I'm picking up. But it's like they're they're a little bit like behind the scenes. You know, maybe you guys aren't talking right now. Maybe someone's been blocked. The communication isn't isn't really quite open right now, okay, between you guys. Things may have um you know, gone in the opposite direction. Or maybe, you know, someone decided they were going to just walk away or something. But so there's there's a energy of here of just wanting to move things forward wanting to take the next step but not knowing how okay but with the wheel card here things are going to change maybe whatever what has been stuck in the past 
it's now going to get unstuck. You're going to be able to move. You're going to have to, you're going to be able to take action. I'm getting your partner really does want some kind of um, movement here. And they're willing to make some kind of change or make some kind of, um, take some kind of action. Even if it's kind of going against what they may have wanted or would have seen themselves doing in the past here with this full card they're giving it this 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 have they have a, this whole new perspective or outlook on this relationship okay the challenge here we have is the knight of cups so we have like maybe a divine masculine who's kind of coming in and wanting to show his love wanting to show some kind of feeling emotions they're wanting to maybe apologize or come in and kind of um take action on something the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm getting the fact that, that this is someone who wants to show you that they do care. Wanting to show you that you do mean the world to them. Or that there is still love here. There is definitely a connection here. Let me see the challenge. So I'm getting with the Knight of Cups in a challenge position is that this person may struggle with how to go about coming and revealing this this love to you this this feeling okay maybe they don't know how to go about doing this but they definitely want to why is the knight of cups here for aquarius and their partner for the challenge why is the knight of cups here okay so there's a lot of passion here Ace of Wands, so they wanna they wanna come in, this partner of yours. They wanna show you that they haven't forgotten about you, that you've been on their mind, that there is still love here. They still desire you. There's a lot of passion and chemistry here. They're wanting to take this next step. They're wanting to have a beginning, this new beginning. They wanna, there's a need of, of to just Forget about what happened in the past so you can move forward. So you guys can get out of this stuck energy or, or get out of this, um, this energy of just being distant. This person wants to come and feel close to you again. Okay? They want to reignite the flames. There is a lot of love here and they also, I'm getting they're very, very much attracted to you with this wand energy. I'm getting water, this water and fire energy, a um, lot of excitement, a lot of desire, a lot of anticipation, a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction, both physically and emotional attraction here, okay? But the challenge is how to go about starting this up. How do I do this, okay? Now, the world is in the recent past. So you guys have been through something. This is... You know, a karmic soulmate, or this is someone that you've been through everything with. Ups and downs. You've seen the best and the worst of this person. You know their ins and outs. You, you've seen their good days and their bad days. <laughs> okay? You've been through the wire with this person. The world is here to show you that whatever's happening in the past, it's now... It's making one big complete circle with the wheel and the world. It's all now culminating. It's coming to an end. And I'm getting the sense of some kind of new beginning. Let me clarify the world here. I'm really getting a sense that you guys are like trying to get past and trying to close some kind of cycle here. These are really big major arcanas here. I do want to highlight that. We have the wheel, we have the world, we have the judgment, and we have the star. A lot of big change going on with this connection, and you're going to feel it. You're going to feel the energy between you guys are um, changing. However, maybe you, um, maybe this person did something in the past where you maybe tried to pull away or something, but now whatever... Whatever was holding things back with this connection, things are just, um, things are changing right before your eyes. It's like things are turning around. Why is the world card here for the recent past? 
spirit why is the world card here for the recent past i'm getting that this is being you know divinely orchestrated your spirits your guides you know they're, they're supporting you with this it's telling you to release this toxicity whatever this this something that has been causing you a lot of stress with this ten of swords gemini libra aquarius energy there's something that happened in the past where you were just up in your head it caused you so much anxiety so much conflict you just was so distraught so frustrated so hurt so alone you were just um very very much stressed and so with it in the reverse you're releasing that okay that's beautiful energy right there you're releasing some kind of hurt some kind of despair whatever this person may have caused you in the past okay there's something that you have to release and let go of okay and we have the wheel again the wheel came up again so there's a closing of a cycle you have to move forward Aquarius, you have to move forward. The wheel is here. Things are turning. Just like with the seasons changing, you have to change too, your mindset. And so now it's, it's, Spirit is telling you to now take on this hermit energy, okay? Go within, find the answers, do some soul searching, okay? This is a period of introspection, meditating, finding what, what all this means to you. Trying to make sense of this connection, maybe trying to understand it. You have to go within. You have to really, um, I'm getting that you have to really just try to tune into your energy and tune into yourself and try to connect. Try to connect with the divine to find these answers. You may even want to go reach out, you know, to like a, a therapist or a, a, a Reiki healer or a tarot card or whatever just you may have to this is the period of going within okay spending a lot of time alone so i'm getting the sense that yeah you had to, you had to maybe leave this behind okay whatever's caused you a lot of anxiety and hurt in the past or conflict you had to just let that go okay now for what's on your mind, Three of Cups, coming together, celebrating, cherishing the good times, making memories, expressing your love. That's beautiful energy, Three of Cups. Let me just clarify that Three of Cups was on your mind, Aquarius, as it relates to your partner. Why is the Three of Cups here, Spirit? I'm getting a sense maybe you want to come in, maybe you want to... You know, start off on a clean slate with this person and now, you know, reveal to them that you really do care about them as well because they're coming in. They're coming in here with this night. Okay, so we have, um, I'm just, I'm not going to take all these cards out, but we do have the Page of Wands here. We have the Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So maybe you're feeling like um, you do want to take action. You do, you, you are looking at this person and you know what they mean to you, but I'm getting the sense you're still very much up in your head. You're not really sure of it, okay? It's like you wanna almost not come in too strong, okay? That's what I'm getting. But you do want to have some kind of celebration, some kind of um, unity with this person. You do wanna connect, okay? This person does mean something to you with the cups. There is love here. Now, the reason for this reading, what's the reason for this reading and what's at the foundation is the judgment card, okay? So there is some kind of decision that's going to be made between you and your partner. Maybe your partner is now going to make a judgment call about, you know, this relationship, this connection. Let's find out more about the judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Why is the judgment card here, Spirit? Oops. Let's not take all these cards. Why is the judgment card here? Five of Cups, okay, so maybe someone, ooh, I'm just slippery today. I'm getting the sense that someone may have been disappointed. Um, someone is looking back at the past, okay, maybe something was um, really disappointing, What they were just hurt by it, or they feel like, they feel guilty for what they've done, okay, they feel guilty for how they may have treated you, for what they may have said, 
in regard in, in relation to like your connection with this person why is the five of cups here okay let's got a card here three of cups so yeah it's about coming together so there is um you know someone does feel guilty about it and they're going to make some kind of decision so where you guys can have some kind of unifications coming together and celebrating, okay, with the Three of Cups, okay? So they very much, this is on your mind, the Three of Cups, you want to come together with this person, and they do too, okay? But, and maybe they want to now leave this disappointment, whatever they've caused in the past, they want to leave that in the past, and they want to make a, a judgment call. They want to take some kind of action, and we do have them here as a Knight of Cups, okay? So they will, they do want to come in. The Knight is all about taking action and reveal some kind of love and feelings to, towards you, okay? Now, in the near future, we have the Star card, which is beautiful. This is your energy, Aquarius. So you're going to have some kind of wish fulfillment. There's something that is going to take place that you're going to be happy about, we have the Empress here. So the Empress is all about fertility. You know, she's magnetic. She's um, graceful. She's very attractive. She's a manifester. Okay, so there's something that's going to take place that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. It's going to lead to something, a new path for you. It's going to open up a new door. Let's find out more about the Empress. The Empress is about so like creative energy, and it's about giving birth to new ideas, new ways, um, New things and there's something that you're you know is going to be enlightened to you and it's going to be a wish fulfillment so why is the empress here why is the empress here for Aquarius really beautiful energy a lot of major arcana see you're gonna release something that was really burdensome you, you I mean maybe someone felt like they no longer could you know go on they couldn't move forward with something let's let's clarify that with the nine of wands in reverse Let's clarify why the nine of wands in reverse is here. Three of pentacles in reverse. Okay, so I'm getting that maybe you're taking on maybe a um you're taking on this this energy of the empress, okay? And you're going after what it is that's going to make you happy. Okay? I'm getting the sense that you're not really quite where this person is right now. Okay? While you do want the three of cups, you want some kind of um you want to come together, you want to connect with this person, but you're not sure if you're willing to trust this person with the three of pentacles in reverse. And I'm getting the sense that, yeah, you almost, you've gotten to a point where you almost like want to give up on it, okay? And I'm getting the sense that you being the empress, you're really, you're really going within, you're really manifesting, um, and you're really like working on yourself, okay? You're really in, investing in yourself and, um what what it is that you want okay and it, it really is a beautiful energy to be in but i'm also getting a sense that you're releasing something and it is going to bring you some kind of fulfillment here okay now your current energy is the five of cups so yeah i think this person may have kept you hanging for a while the five of cups they may have disappointed you they really may have just um let you down you know and again we had the five of cups here as the reason for the reading so they want to make a judgment call about something but yeah they, they very much feel guilty for what maybe they've done to you in the past and it's really either that you know maybe they burned you or they blocked you or they they didn't um they done something that made you feel like you know I, I i can't trust this person they don't love me they don't care about me and you're very much sitting in that energy and you're remembering all the disappointment all the sadness this person has brought to you and so as a result, you're not wanting to move forward, okay? But we do, again, have the wheel card here. Things are changing. Maybe the way um, you look at this person. Let me get more about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for the Aquarius? Why is the Five of Cups here for Aquarius? But this person was definitely a disappointment to you. And it's not something that you're easily able to just forget, Okay? Yeah, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Either you're dealing with someone with this air energy who caused you this disappointment, who caused you all this sadness, okay, and was not fulfilling to you, or you're you're taking on more of this King of Swords energy where you're cutting out something that no longer serves you, 
okay? And that's right on par with what the Empress is about, okay? She's working on growing. She's working on bringing, building new things and, and going down new paths. And she's going to release anything that no longer is, you know, isn't going to bring her happiness, isn't her wish fulfillment. So you may be cutting out something that is no longer making you happy, okay? You know, maybe it's something that is just no longer working for you. Let's find out more about this King of Swords. Okay, and you'll be, you're becoming more detached. You're not wheeling your feelings on your sleeve with this person. You're thinking very logically. We had two cards fall out. Okay, so we have here is the Four of Swords and we have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, you're thinking about your long-term stability, your security. Maybe you're working on, you know, your career, making money, investing. You know, you're managing things, you're managing, you know, you're thinking about your long-term wealth, okay? And with the Four of Swords, you may be going through a period of healing. You may be not wanting to talk to this person. You may be feeling like you need time alone, time by yourself to get your thoughts together. And, you know, certainly the Hermit energy did come up in the recent past. So I'm getting the sense that you really do need to just, like, go within. And you just really need to maybe heal from something that really hurts you as it relates to this person, Okay, and you're very much going to focus now on, you know, your long term, your wealth, your, you know, being committed to yourself, investing in yourself. All right. Now, with the Ace of Swords, your person wants to come in and reveal maybe some kind of truth. They want to be honest with you. They want to they want things to be clear. They want to be getting with of you, with you. And that is, you know, something, some kind of clear communication. Ace of Swords. Let me find out more about that. They want to enlighten you on something here regarding this connection why is the ace of swords for aquarius partner ace of swords why is the ace of swords here okay we have the ace of cups so yeah i'm getting this sense they have a lot of love they want to maybe like clear the air okay whatever was whatever was not clear whatever was kept from you or whatever that has um transpired between you guys that is where well, you guys are just not on the same page they want to come in and reveal that truth to you okay this is about being honest opening up okay and they do have a lot of love so it's like while they're clarifying why they're coming in and telling you what happened in the past what the story is and everything and setting the record straight they're coming in and they're wanting they're hoping that they can have this beginning of in love they want to have some kind of new beginning where you guys are able to be on the same page you guys are able to connect have love for each other be open with each other and you know maybe have some kind of relationship here they they they're all about having new beginnings with you with the two aces. Okay? But I'm getting the sense that you just you're not sure. You're like, mm, "I don't know. You you've caused maybe too much I, I want to just give up on this. That you've caused me too much hurt. You've left me alone and despair. You've you've hurt me too much. I don't know if I can trust you. I want to just cut this out." Work on myself. So maybe right now you're not going to give this person an answer. You just you're at, you're at a point where you just don't want to you don't want to put any time, energy, and effort into it. You're thinking about yourself being the empress and growing and being graceful and standing in your power, okay? Maybe this is you making the judgment call now, Aquarius. You're making the judgment call about, you know, coming together with this three of cups in person because, again, they, they disappointed you. And maybe you're not wanting to move forward with that. So maybe this is you digging, going within, Okay, going within in the hermit energy here and really trying to close this cycle with this person. You're trying to release all this hurt. Okay, you're trying to release all this ten of swords energy and close this cycle. Because maybe you've been dealing with this person for so long and you feel like it's no longer changing in the right direction. Okay, and you, yeah, you're like at a point, this is, you, you maybe have seen this person at one point you know, um, coming together and really having a loving relationship, but whatever they've done, I'm, I'm thinking that you're, you're seeing things very differently and you're making a judgment call as to maybe not wanting to work on this relationship, not wanting to invest in this connection anymore. I don't know. I think that's really up to you, Aquarius, how, what you're going to do, because we do have the lovers here for the outcome and the lovers is all about making a decision, 
Okay, everyone thinks of love is just like, oh, you guys are going to be in love and it's happy love ever after. Amen. Like, no. <laughs> it's, it's about making a decision if you're going to go forward and go after this love and work on it. Or if you're going to go the opposite way and love yourself and not give to this connection. Okay? So, you know, there's some kind of truth here. There's some kind of truth with the Page of Swords. Someone needs to come in, reveal the truth. Okay? There has to be some kind of communication here. I'm getting the sense that you guys are a little distant. Maybe communication is blocked. But there is going to be a lot of beginnings here. We do have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. A lot of new beginnings. Closing of chapters. The Wheel and the, um, the World card. There's a lot of things transforming in this connection. So, you know, you, you may be making a really important decision as it relates to this person in April. Okay? Um, it's regarding your love for them. And you, you're going to have to make a decision if you're going to give towards this connection. Okay? Does this person make you happy? Do you, do you really see yourself with them? Let's get another card to clarify what this Page of Swords is all about. But yeah, you guys are going to have... Not only to make a decision, but you guys are going to have to communicate something. Because they want to come in and reveal the truth to you about something. I'm not going to take all these cards. I'm just going to get a good peek. They want to reveal the truth to you about something with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups here. They want to tell you something about maybe some kind of secret. Something that they were dishonest about. Maybe there were a lot of options and they wanted to be single here with the Seven of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. This is all about wanting to be single, independent, maybe want to explore other people and other things. Yeah, and I'm getting the Queen of Swords. Maybe someone, yeah, they were in Hangman. They weren't really giving to this connection. They removed themselves. They detached with the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Hangman. They were just were unsure. They were just stalling. They weren't making a decision. Someone wasn't making a decision. And so it left you guys just in a really weird um, energy. And now, you know, someone is wanting to clear the air. Someone wanting to reveal the truth, reveal their love to you. Okay? And, that, and that's a decision that you're going to have to make. The judgment is here. That's the reason for this reading here. You're going to have to make a decision about this person. Okay? With the lover's card. Be dealing with the lit Gemini, but there's some kind of truth coming in. There's some kind of truth here, Aquarius. It's gonna set you free. It's gonna set you free because there's gonna be a, a um, closing of the cycles. Whatever you've been through, this person, you're finally gonna just close it. Whether it's moving forward with this person, or if you choose that you're no longer going to communicate with this person, and you're gonna get them out of your energy, it's going to be a release. Okay. So I have two um, oracle cards from the Keepers of Light. We have Diana, Focus, Intention. This, it says, think about what you deserve. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Okay? So Aquarius, this is about you really knowing and standing in your truth, knowing what it is that you want, and going for it. Okay? Cloak of Wisdom, you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So, yeah, really go within, go into this hermit energy, find the answers that, that are already there. You just need them to be, reveal itself to you, okay? And then trust that those are the right answers, okay? Trust your intuition. Let's get two oracle cards from the Archangel Oracle. Oops, okay, we got two cards that came out here. Gifts from God, Archangel Saldalfin. We angels bring you gifts from your creator, Open your arms to receive, okay? So this is telling you that, you know, the divine, the angels are all supporting you with this, okay? They're giving you a gift. They want you to um, receive this gift. So open your arms and receive this, this blessing. We have three cards. I'm only going to take one more. Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So you have a lot of support. Okay, a lot of support. And um, yeah, know that you know you don't have to worry about this. You, you can release this. Release your fears. Release um, anxieties. Okay? Things are going to work out. And I'm going to put one more card from the Romance Angels. For Aquarius. 
chemistry, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. So I'm getting, maybe that's why it's so hard to maybe release this and close this cycle with this person because yeah, there's a, there's a lot of attraction, but do you just want to be physically attracted to this person? Do you, don't you want more? Don't you want an emotional connection? Don't you want to be vulnerable with each other? There's so much more. Don't you want to be um, on the same wavelengths, like on the same, um, like be connected at the soul level? Okay, so having just a magnetic, a strong magnetic, a physical attraction, that's not enough, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, Aquarius, for the first half of April. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this resonated for you and come back for another reading. Thank you. Bye-bye.